A gentleman clips his nose hairs and unsightly hair in his ears. As he grows older, he may need to trim his eyebrows. Hmm. I don't know about the eyebrows. What do you guys think? I gotta hire somebody to trim my eyebrows now? If anybody will remember anything, it'll be that I taught them how to be a gentleman. How to be a man and navigate this world with manners and uh, humility. Just remember that you're the best. My hair's a little messy. Sorry about that. I'm still a student. A gentleman always offers to share his umbrella. Yeah, but a man never brings an umbrella. Ooh, we've reached some sort of conundrum. A gentleman does not use his car horn indiscriminately, but he's not sheepish either about using it when he needs to. Yeah, especially if he sees a hot girl. Remember to whistle out the window. Oh, she's got a hot ass and uh and then adjust her tie afterwards wolf whistle isn't that what the wolf whistle is bring that back women say they miss it a gentleman parks his car carefully when unlike what <laughs> just closing your eyes and and heading for the opening like i'm just i'm i'm a very uncareful parker i'll just let everybody know in my car beforehand and be like listen things are gonna get squirrely especially when we get in the parking garage you know you're gonna you're gonna want to hold on to something we're gonna take this super seriously though because i want everybody to be a gentleman in warm weather, a gentleman always wears an undershirt. You know, nothing with letters on it because it'll show through your shirt. I know, I make sure not to wear a bra. As much as I want to and as pretty as it would make me feel. No bras, gentlemen. Unless you're also wearing a tie. If you have a bra, you have to wear a tie. Ooh, that is a bitter, that is a bitter tea. If everything you're doing is bad, I want you to know this. If a gentleman's meal is slow to arrive from the kitchen, and if others at the table have been served, he urges them to please go ahead without me. And he means it. Yeah, just go ahead. Go ahead and eat. Don't. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. But a gentleman can eat. If he gets his food first, he waits. Because men are supposed to be miserable. If a gentleman is on a diet, he does not talk about it at the table. No, he makes a Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok post. That's what he does now. He's like, I'm on my weight loss journey. You guys want to hear about my journey? Fuck you. Beer, is it the gray in my beard? Is it, is it taken away from the fact that I'm fat? A gentleman uh, knows how to make others feel comfortable. Back rubs. Are you comfortable? You just ask him. Just ask him all right. Gentleman's always very direct. A gentleman knows how to make a grilled cheese at 2 a.m. and an omelet at 7 a.m. Are there other appropriate meals for times of day? He knows how to make pancakes at 9 a.m., but not 10 a.m. because 10 a.m. is too fucking late. If a gentleman is lost, he admits it. He readily asks for directions. Directions. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't, because a gentleman is still a man. A gentleman knows that the gym is a place for working out, not merely a place for socializing, and certainly not a place for showing off. Are those yoga pants that go up the butt crack? And it's like, yeah, gentlemen, don't stare at that. We just ignore it. Probably best for everybody to just kind of ignore those women. Apparently, I'm not a gentleman, because I, I can't help but stare a little bit. I'm like, yeah, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. That girl's cock outline's bigger than mine. You should attend lots of funerals if you're a gentleman. Just go to them. Let's go to all of them. Only if you're invited, though. That's the main thing. If you're a gentleman, you have to be invited to the funeral. So a gentleman has to know a lot of people. A lot of people that are close to death or that take risks. A gentleman asks the concierge for some necessary service. One that is important enough to justify a substantial tip. Ah, yes. I mean, oriental massage or Norwegian massage. Those women are delicious. I mean, their hands. I heard they're really good with their hands. A gentleman never makes a date out of desperation. Whoa. No gentleman's on Tinder, then. I've never had a manicure in my life. Can't say I'm about to start. I don't deserve a spot, eh? When to wear brown shoes? I heard never. That's what I heard. If a gentleman is giving to wearing outlandish hats, such as a deer stalker or a Russian stable cap with fla ear flaps, he understands that he will probably attract attention. He probably will, especially if he's a doctor. Uh, when a gentleman wears a cummerbund, he makes sure to the pleats are turned up. Don't wear a cummerbund unless you're a unless you're a bullfighter. I think they're supposed to wear cummerbunds, right? How to tie a bow tie. I don't have a bow tie. I mean, no, I don't. I have a real bow tie. I just don't want to show you. A gentleman never colors his hair. You don't need to just get AIDS gracefully. That's what gentlemen do. We don't, we don't, you know, father time comes for us all. And he's coming, coming for me real hard right now. As you can see the beard. When a gentleman outgrows his clothes, he gives them away to charity. He does not pretend that someday he will lose weight. When and if he does lose weight, he certainly will not want to celebrate by wearing out of date clothes. Is there, is there even a greater crime than that? Lord, those cargo shorts are never coming back, Chase. <laughs> no! The gentleman never wears a button-down collar shirt with a bow tie. Unless he's a fake scientist on TV. Then maybe. Even at the most elegant dinner party, a gentleman feels perfectly comfortable eating cold pickup foods. However, he takes special care not to dribble the sauces over his shirt and the tablecloth. It's not like they go into it and be like, you know what, I'm gonna make a mess today. I'm gonna... You see all this stuff right here? 
You might as well just dump it into my lap because that's where it's going. A gentleman knows when it's all right to eat the garnish. Do you ever truly know when to eat the garnish? Don't do it. You just leave it on the plate. You don't eat it. When a gentleman has vegetarian friends, inevitably he'll have to go out to dinner with them. He doesn't just take him to the steakhouse or he just gets new friends because, you know, you should, never, you should never be friends with a vegetarian, let's be honest. But if a gentleman himself is a vegetarian, he doesn't have to be coddled, but he has to coddle everybody else in his friend group. The shit, that's what it says right here. Which goes along with my with my theory that men are supposed to be miserable. You should coddle me, I'm a vegetarian after all. Do you want to hear about my journey? I'm freshly showered. And I'm sweating already. A gentleman always adheres to the dress code of the restaurant. If it says shirtless, you go shirtless. And it was a Chippendale restaurant. When a gentleman chooses not to drink wine, he feels perfectly confident in saying no thank you. Why would you feel like you can't? Wait, he's like, would you like some wine? Be like, oh, well, I got it. The guy offered it, so now I gotta get, I gotta, I gotta drink wine now. Yeah, you can say no. Nope, you have to drink the whole bottle. And then you have to yell at everybody at the table and tell two of them you love them and the other ones you hate. And then reverse that about 15 minutes later. And then warn them all this will happen again. Every conversation at the table can be turned into a debate. You gotta make sure you win. And a gentleman never drinks a cocktail through a straw. A man never drinks through a straw anyways. And if you do it, knock it off. Now there's gonna be a picture of me on the internet drinking from a straw. He's a fucking hypocrite. Yeah. At the dinner table, a gentleman helps the woman to the right of him as she sits or rises from her chair. He needs to make sure that if they're familiar to give her a little bit of a goosing, just a little bit, just enough to say, hey, like what you got going on back there? 